Farnham Angling Society provides first-class fishing for all on the 28 venues that our members fish. So why not come and join us? With fisheries located in the Surrey, Hampshire and Berkshire borders, our fisheries are easy to reach for within a 40 mile radius. Farnham Angling Society offers the best value for money fishing in the south of England and having recently acquired eight lakes from the famous and historic Yateley complex to add to our existing portfolio, you are quite simply spoilt for choice. Situated just five minutes from Farnham, Surrey, our Badshot Lee complex is easy to find and securely fenced with two car parks. There is full wheelchair access to toilets in both the car parks and disabled priority swims amongst the 120 pegs on the three lakes, all of which are accessible by good paths that make them perfectly suited for disabled anglers. The complex is one of the jewels within the FAS's crown and is very popular with anglers of all ages and abilities. The fisheries provide very different opportunities for Farnham Angling Society members. The ponds provide a very secure and safe environment for our junior members, many of whom who fish unaccompanied every summer knowing that help is at hand from senior members if needed. Junior members aged 16 and under may fish at night only if accompanied by a senior member. However, intermediate members aged 16 to 18 may fish at night unaccompanied. The venue remains open all year, so you could fish on one of three ponds every day of the year, with the exception of the 31st of March as all of Farnham Anglin Society's fisheries are closed on that day every year. When an FAS bailiff checks your handbook on their rounds, take the opportunity to ask them for advice, information about the fishery, and repay both them and FAS by making sure your litter is well managed on the bank and taken home with you to keep the waters pristine. Badshotley Big Pond is a mature 16 acre tree lined gravel pit with 68 swims, averaging 3 feet in depth with some deeper channels going down to 7 feet deep. The bottom is silty but has clear gravel areas and weed beds. Carp run to 25 pound, bream to 10 pound, and catfish to 60 pound plus. There's a fair head of tench roach, perch and grass carp with the occasional pike and a few specimen eels. Strong tackle is required to target the catfish as 20 pound, 30 pound and 40 pound fish are regularly landed with specimens to 50 pound plus caught most seasons. Badshotley Small Pond is four acres in size with 42 swims with a fairly uniform depth of around four feet. There are large shoals of skimmers and bream to four pound and plenty of roach with a reasonable head of carp that typically average five to 15 pound with occasional specimens running to 20 pound. Tench patrol the margins of the pond and occasionally Carucian carp will show. Good numbers of perch with some fish running to two pound are also present as well as some rud, gudgeon and rough and even the odd chub. This is a popular venue with the FAS match section, pleasure anglers and younger carp anglers. 
The use of a quiver tip and small swim feeder cast regularly and accurately usually brings the bream on the feed in the centre of the pond, whilst float fishing down the sides may find the tench. The pole can work extremely well and, as always, feeding is the key to success, with light regular feeding being essential to get the fish competing. Carp respond to all the usual tactics and the quiet top corner is a favourite for surface fishing in the summer. Kings Pond is a 0.7 of an acre canal style fishery offering 16 swims all on one bank. A three foot deep inside shelf drops off to a depth of six feet towards the middle. This water provides great sport with bags of smaller fish and is a wonderful water on which to introduce newcomers of any age as the float rarely stays still for long. There are large numbers of small Carusian carp, tench and roach plus some still water chub as well as perch, rudd, gudgeon and ruff. A longer pole fishing the deeper water, a whip fishing in close to the pads, a light waggler or even a very light ledger will all produce results on their day. Occasional walnut sized balls of ground bait mixed with fish meal and a few small pellets or some free offerings accurately fed every cast will all work. Keep tackle light and float sensitive. The fish rarely run over two pound, often feed freely and can produce great sport for those fancying a fun day catching an array of species. That's the sort of catch you can expect here at King's Pond with the right approach. A few pellets, little light rigs, tiny hooks, light elastics and anything's possible. It's a fantastic days fishing on one of Farnham Anglican Society's premier waters. My name's Peter Hooper. I'm just going to give you a few tips on how to fish Bagshot Lee Big Pond for grass carp. Um, I like to fish a uh, fairly big bed of particle bait, hemp, um, chopped nuts, bird food um, and maize out a fairly long way out towards the middle of the lake um, and basically for hook baits I use uh, maize, peanut um, and boilies. Hi I'm Duncan Charman let me give you a few tips on fishing Badshot Lee Big Pond never ever overlook dead maggot it's very underrated Go out there on the lives and the dead. If you start catching on the lives, get both rods on the lives. If it's, you know, the other way around, change it to what's working. Today I'm finding a little red worm and a couple of dead maggots is working. Filling your feeder with ground bait. If you find that, you know, you get a six or seven fish and then the swim goes dead, I just take my hook link off. I've got a little quick change link swivel there. Take the hook link off. You, I'm clipped up, so I'm hitting the spot every time. I've got a little, uh, stop knot made of pole elastic as a reference so I can just clip up and just cast about six or eight feeder falls of ground bait out there, strike it off and all of a sudden I've just found a few minutes ago that my swim's gone dead so I've done exactly that and all of a sudden I've just caught about four or five bream on the trot. What I've got in the bucket is just a normal fish ground bait with a tin of tuna in using oil in the summer and brine in the, in the actual winter just so that it breaks down quicker in the winter. When you've mixed it up, give it a good rub through to get any, any big particles of the tuna so they don't actually mask the hook. It's pretty simple, it, it takes two seconds to do. Just get a half decent handful, put it into the tube. Once you've got it in the tube, I've seen people just push this straight out, never ever. For me, put it on my leg, give it a couple of good whacks down to compress it. What will happen is when that hits the bottom, and it does end up breaking down. That'll break down to an area about sort of six to eight inches wide. So I wanted to talk, try and make it so that it's as visible as possible. Flip that over like that. Tying the extra knot already so I don't lose too much. So. Just cutting off next to the nearest knot. 
Then what I like to do, because of the actual rig that I use, I don't like using shrink tubes, so I can't really pull. So I can't really pull, because I use silicon tube, and I don't want to actually move that. I've got that set exactly how I want it now. So what I'll do is I'll go in through the top of the bag, out halfway down, get my rig, flick that on there. So I'm pulling it back through halfway up the bag. And then all I do is, as I pull that down, just nick that hook back to the centre of the bag. Now that is absolutely spot on now, that is. That will stop that from tangling on any, any part of the hook as well. Then just using a normal quick link swivel. Just pop that on there. Put that ring back over. And there you go, away you go. Good enough to catch anything, certainly out of here. Keeping things simple in Baggy Lee Big Pond is what I've always done and I've always caught really well on, so I'm not going to start changing to anything complicated. I'm Richard Kane, Chairman of Farnham Angler Society. I've been privileged enough to be Chairman for 25 years and been a member for 35. Present day, I'm out in a lovely bit of weather with a few showers, fishing Badshot Lee Small Pond, which is on the Badshot Lee Complex. With the present moment, on the tip, I'm fishing two or three maggot at a time, ground bait with pellet in it. But the bream are a bit slow today. And I'm fishing hard and soft pellet on the hook for an alternative on another rod. On the pole line, I'm fishing hemp and castor on one line and pellet on another with ground bait. The Big Pond hosts three 24-hour carp academies for both juniors and intermediates plus senior members. These are organised by highly experienced carp anglers, providing expert tuition to those attending, all free of charge. Pike teachings take place every year and are the envy of many clubs and only members that attend these may fish for this delicate predator on our fisheries. Junior teachings on King's Pond take place every year and concentrate on teaching float fishing again at no cost. Annual charity matches have raised over £31,000 since 2000 on the Big Pond, which also hosts an annual bailiffs match. Here at Farnham Angling Society, we run a very competitive match scene. We have a competition 52 weeks of the year, every Sunday. We fish about 80% on our own club waters and 20% on commercials, perhaps once every three or four weeks. We also have our inter-club matches. We fish against Twyford and other clubs, which keeps it very uh, interesting. It's, uh, we have very good club anglers, we have average club anglers, and we have the outright novices, so there is something here for everyone. We have silverfish matches and carp matches, and we also do some special matches where we have different techniques where perhaps you're only allowed to use a float and there's no ledger in allowed, so there is something here for everyone. And it's a very, very friendly scene. So uh, anyone out there that's a member of the club that hasn't fished a competition, please come along, I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself. We've got some fantastic waters, and the novices will learn a great deal from the competitive match anglers and uh, it will certainly up your pleasure catches. So that's just a flavour of what we have to offer on our Badshot League complex. Plus there are 25 other fabulous fisheries to try, all for the price of just one permit and with no hidden extra charges. So whether you're a beginner or a highly experienced angler, come and enjoy first class fishing for all with Farnham Angling Society.